hello everyone, welcome back to another video from me, Beast of My Name. And today in the video, I want to talk about a very important topic, and that is the point of when people accusing you for something. Right? That is not uncommon in a type of community game like this, right? Um, I know that already from back there in Rise of Kingdoms, it's pretty common that people accusing you for something, especially when you when they are losing against you they accusing you for something, right? And um, I want to give my statement towards that and also talking about at the end of the video about why it is from a neutral position so important to listen to both sides, not just listen to, oh, this kingdom is getting accused for cheating. I'm not going to go there. You know, that's very, very dangerous. So I want to go through my statement from, you know, the view of 293, what we saying to that statement, and also what the neutral standpoint should be looking on when they're hearing is um, accusing like that. All right. So let's start with a video. All right, guys, you may have heard of it already. Uh, we talked about that in the live streams a little bit um, as well. So let me go through it uh, real quick. Since we have hold the level four by uh, position, right? We have hold the defense against uh, KOD and SCS, or if you want to say the kingdom number 290 and 301, we got, um, or it started that people accused us for cheating. Um, and we were like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? Um, like, how can you accuse us for cheating? You know, like, it was not real for us, right? It was literally not real for us. We didn't understand why that is now happening. Like, it is the, the, the standpoint why we have also, you know, um, we're like, what the hell is that comment now? Because the um, leader of uh, 290 accused me for manipulating the stats live on stream like literally i was going through the stats in game and have written them down on my spreadsheet live on stream and he accused me for manipulating the stats on facebook i was like okay sure what the hell like, I had no comment for that. Um, no, but that's not the topic for today. So wait, um, when the when the level 4 Spire war was basically mostly over and it came down, you know, uh, we hold our position and their mentality broke down and they didn't really fought anymore or pushed us anymore, um, it started to go into a direction which I didn't really like. And that was the accusing for cheating or not, uh, let's say, macro scripting, which is not allowed, right? You couldn't, you can call it as uh, under cheating. Um, but they literally said we, that we were macro scripting. And here's now a difference, right? Between macro scripting and macro management. Macro management, management is basically everything what you do outside of your account. So alliances, strategies, buildings, like all of these things, what you're doing in the game. Um, is macro uh, management, right? Macro scripting now is basically you using multiple accounts at the same time in the same moment with the same command. That is basically macro scripting. Um, and they accused us for that because of the points. So what they said was like that an infantry got attacked by 30 marches when he went into us with like, when we had like 100 marches or um, when they like city hopped and we like targeted them instantly on when they jumped out of the city, like all of these things, right? Um, that were like the points what they have accused us for. There was like literally a diff uh, many different points what they used to accuse us for cheating um but we always said we're not cheating we are just active like when it comes down to down or if we're winning the season or not 293 is showing the fucking fair asses off right and that's what we did this season again we slacked on in zone two um right and that's what we said we we did mistakes we didn't show off really um like we could you uh used to do and uh, we didn't like accuse them for like, you know, the map is shit or something like that. No, we said we packed up, um, you won GD. That's what we did. And then zone three opened and then we fought there, right? Um, it was like pretty, you know, ridiculous to us that, you know, we were pretty um, like being, um, being a sportman um, and, 
you know, showing off and saying GG and stuff like that. And um, also when we had the stage of fighting, we always said GG after that in the, in the chat. You know, and when they using this type of, you know, um, accusing shit against us when they lost or like when they couldn't push us off from the level 4 player, it was like, you know, it was not, it was like, why? Why are you doing that, right? When you literally can see on my stream when that be having an individual movement and I giving the callers out, like when we have like our top numbers are like 70, 80, 90 uh, members in the VC. So yes, if I'm calling out that we attacking that infantry march, you're getting attacked immediately by 30 marches because people listen. It's not uncommon, right? Um, and I said it multiple times already in the streams. Imagine these players would be in my current uh, season on my main. They would be like accusing everyone for cheating if that is the case, you know? And on top of that, I know that they have um, reported that to the, uh, to the devs, to the support. And of course, they didn't find anything. Of course. And from that point on, when they said, okay, fine, they said they didn't find anything. Um, you know, we're not cheating. Then they said, okay, you know, we, we're taking it back. We are cool now and stuff like that. But it's it's crazy that, you know, um, that you're accusing us for something we're doing when you literally can see once again on stream the individual movement by everyone. And we also saying that no one is cheating. And I by myself said in the word chat that I hate cheating. It's, it's in my opinion, a form of, you know, weaknesses when you cheat in the game like you can't be bad in the game no problem at all but for that you have to, to improve yourself you know and if you cheat in the game then you're not improving yourself and i find it a form of weaknesses um sorry weakness and um i'm totally 100 against weakness and uh, against cheating and um the devs also showed in the past, Aether, be it in Wise of Kingdoms or now also in Call of Legends, that they're banning people for cheating. It's not uncommon. They're doing that, you know? Um, so it was pretty, pretty weird to us that they're using this type of accusing. And why I want to talk about that is, you know, it is a real problem because people, and we had someone in, in our KVK um, who were like um, saying, He's thinking twice now if you're going to migrate to us or not because he heard that 290 is saying that we're cheating. You know, it's not like that we had a proof. It's not like that we had a proof that someone who's doing it. He just have heard that 290 is accusing us for cheating. And that made him think twice about migrating to 293. And this is the thing why I want to talk about this today here in this video is because this type of accusing, this type of, you know, manipulating or like putting a bad reputation on that kingdom can fuck you up. And I, in both ways, you know, you can, of course, damage the view of the of the kingdom, you uh, accusing them for something which they're not doing. But also your reputation is going pretty well down when people then finally realize that you're talking shit and just lying around. And in that moment, they're like, okay, I'm not going to go to a kingdom which using these type of tactics um, to, you know, put a bad reputation on their enemy and not can stand for themselves and say, okay, we lost GG, guys. We are out of this KVK. You know what I mean with that? So in, in both ways, I, I want to say not to both, you know, don't do that at all. Like you can fuck A for others up for something which they're not doing or you fuck at the end yourself because you damage your own reputation. So in both ways, it is not good. It is literally not good, right? So I don't understand why people at the end overall doing it. At the end, we are now um, good with 290. We have like no, uh, like they're not accusing us for anymore. They understood that we're not doing it and that we are just active and people listening to the courts and stuff like that. But like the, the, the relationship of all this, of, of course, p uh, damage from it. Sure, we are still enemies, right? But it is now different. Like at the, at the beginning, I had respect for them, you know, because they showed off, we were heavy fighters, we, we loved the wars against them. But from that moment where they started to accuse us for something which we didn't did, the relationship, of course, we are like kind of breaking down now from not only being enemies, but also being like... um seeing them as uh, as fair opponents you know what i mean like uh, that was the moment where i didn't 
saw them anymore as like fair opponents which we have fun wars against and and i kind of find that sad at the end also because at the end is that not a game which we all want to have fun with like do we not want to log in and be like oh wait there's a war going on let's go like let me like do my wheelchair stuff real quick like i don't know clear my room for like 30 minutes and then i'm gonna log in for like two hours and have fun and, and, and if this type of thing starting to, you know, to get more and more and more and more people doing that, it's it's just destroying the, um, the, the, the not only the relationship in between the kingdoms uh, uh, or alliances and the player base, but also it's destroying the, the player gaming experience, in my opinion, right? Like from that moment where this shit started to happen, it was not fun at all anymore to you know, talk in the in a balloon chat, at least for me, because the moment I have talk there, KOD came up there and accused us, like, for stuff, for example, oh, how is the king today doing of a, of a sheeting kingdom and, and shit like that. Like, it is just destroying the game experience overall, and I don't like the direction of it. So what I try to say now at the end here is, guys, if you're like someone outside of this KVK, don't listen to just one side. Listen to both sides, right? And and question these accusing stuff. And don't just listen to it and be like, oh yeah, okay, they're getting accused for that. I don't gonna migrate there. Even if I wanted to. Right? This is a, like this is bullshit. And the second point of my message, which I want to say here is please stop doing that shit. Like everyone outside in the Core of Ranks community, please. Don't start with random accusing shit, right? Like, at least have a proof and then say you're doing that. But if you have not a proof at all and then you're saying this type of shit, it's not. It's 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 just destroying the gaming experience for everyone. And at the end, we all play this game because we like it, right? So why would you do that at the end? So anyone who have listened to it here today, I hope you have um like took this message uh to your heart and you know um that you that you remind other people not to do that and um because at the end it's it's destroying the whole game experience for everyone in that kvk in my opinion um yeah that's all that's all what i can say to that at the end of course everyone have her own, have their own choice um to say what they want um it's just sad in my opinion if people doing that without a proof so yeah let me know in the comments what you think about that topic guys um, I find it, you know, like I said, I find it really sad, but I'm, I'm very open to, you know, listen to your opinion. If you maybe can understand their point of view, um, from their perspective, let me know in the comments, what you think I am gonna answer every comment and, um, yeah, I'm, uh, wish you a great rest of the day. Have a great start in the next day. Stay happy everyone. And we're gonna see us then on the next one. See you guys.